shake, let it go, breathe, stretch, shake, let it go, Hi, I'm Coach Kyle, soccer performance coach at Champions Quest, and today I'm going to be discussing two different types of stretches used by athletes, dynamic and static, and when they should be used in an athlete session. For the longest time, we were told that static stretching was the best way to loosen up the muscles in the body prior to training or competition, where a static stretch puts the muscles in a fixed state and is held for a period of time, a dynamic stretch allows the muscles to increase its range of motion through controlled movements. At Champions Quest, all of our athletes perform dynamic stretches before participating in our skill or performance clinics. These dynamic stretches are specific to the individual athlete's sport and also the focus of each session. I'll be going through a few dynamic stretches that we use here at Champions Quest. The athlete takes a step forward and places two hands on the front of their knee. The athlete pulls the knee into their chest, getting to full extension and raising up onto their toes. The athlete takes a small step forward with the heel down and the toe up. Keeping the front leg extended, they reach down as low as they can and scoop upwards. The athlete takes a big stride forward with their left leg. They then bring the left elbow onto the inside of the knee and extend their trail leg. The athlete pauses for a second and then switches legs. The athlete grabs their right foot with their right hand, keeping the knee tucked tight to the body. They pull the leg back, switching feet after each repetition. The athlete grabs around the outside part of the knee, making sure they do not grab their ankle, and pulls the knee to the opposite shoulder. The next group of exercises are static stretches that should be held for a longer period of time. First is the hamstring stretch. The athlete places two hands behind the knee and raises their leg up as high as they can without bending their knee. Next is the supine knee hug. The athlete lies flat on their back. They bring their knee up and place two hands in front of the knee, pulling it towards the shoulder. The last stretch is the piriformis stretch. The athlete lays their foot down flat on the ground. They slowly apply their body weight over the knee, keeping their back leg straight. Another recovery technique is foam rolling. Foam rolling can be used as a self-massage to promote blood flow through the muscles by using a technique called myofascial release. Myofascial release is an effective hands-on technique that involves applying a gentle and sustained pressure into the connective tissue of the muscle to eliminate pain and restore motion. Dynamic stretching has been found to be more beneficial than static stretching and should be the ideal method of stretching prior to any athletic event. Static stretches should be incorporated at the conclusion of a workout and serving as a cool down.